Let's open up contracts. Um, because I got a few contracts here I want to deal with. One is to break the sound barrier. Um, one is to fly to 20 kilometers. And then I got this flight school one. So just to kind of go break the sound barrier. I've broken the sound barrier before, but for whatever reason, I just didn't have this contract. <laughs> so uh, now I got the contract, so I'm going to break the sound barrier again. Crack 20 kilometers. I'm hoping with the Panther engines, we should be able to do that. Um, you have to be able to do this with only air breathing, air breathing engines only. Uh, so there's that. And finally, Kerbal Academy Flight School is uh, Lieutenant Kim Kerman is going to be getting some training and there's a training course that's right at the KSC for us to fly some through some waypoints and uh, Jebediah has to be on board he's gonna be kind of our flight instructor as it were so we're gonna do all of these building ourselves a new plane centering around some mark II parts so we're gonna get the mark II cockpit let's see what other mark II parts we got here so we'll put on the filter for parts there we go not a huge amount that's a rocket fuel, that's an adapter, that's just liquid fuel, and that's a cargo bay thing. So put that on. Maybe a couple of them. This is going to be a lot of fuel. I might end up likely taking the fuel out of some of these just so that um, they'll just act as fuselage parts. But we'll, we'll see when we get there. Right now that's quite a lot of fuel, but I do believe I do have... The Panther jet engines in here somewhere. There they are. Two of them, obviously. So Panther jet engines are a big improvement over my previous ones, which were the Weasleys. Uh, a lot more thrust, a lot more ability to... Uh, a lot more thrust, but also they have afterburners, which allows you to consume more fuel, but get more, even more thrust out of them. So let's see what we got for wing parts. Organize these by mass. I want to build something that can do. Let's see, do I have? Do you have the delta wing? Start with that. I've got no plan on this one. I'm just sort of getting started. And do I have this? Yeah, these guys. Give it a little bit. We'll, we'll play around with... You know, I don't know if I need these back ones then. Right now, I'm just thinking of what looks okay. That looks okay. We got other kind of... Do, do, do. I'm just looking at wing parts and trying to decide what looks... So that's structural wing type A... That's the big delta wings. I also have these fellas. They're little. I think I don't think I need something that big. Uh, anything else that looks? No, I think I'm gonna stay with that. Uh. I'm thinking we're on to something with just this. Just just playing around now uh, for... I do have these more angly... I can rotate them the way I want. Like that, and then these ones. Move those out a little bit. Again, not really thinking right now of all of it, just trying to make it, kind of making it just look okay is really, uh, yeah, I, these are always a good idea going with the wing strikes. <laughs> um, oh, I do have air brakes now. I gotta make better use of those. You know, I used to always get confused with, should they be mounted this way? Like, can I extend them from here? Deploy them, there we go. Should they be mounted that way? Because I've had people say, no, you should mount them the other way. Um, if we spin them around and deploy them. 
Some say you should go that way. So, and if you go and look and look at different crafts, you will see them both ways. So, um, <laughs> I'm going with the way to me just looks a little bit better. I'm going to go that way. Um, okay. That's, that's not that, that's that, that, um, I need a rudder of some kind. I do have this. And probably put on the mass and the lift. How much delta V is here? It's 45,000. I don't know. It's probably okay. What would I get if I turn some of these to just... Let's edit the tanks and just turn these into fuselage parts. That obviously brings the mass way forward. I'll try and centralize... Edit that one too. Take that piece out. That one had oxidizer in it too. Certainly don't want oxidizer in there. That's still twenty-five thousand. We can add more fuel later if I want to. But it centralizes the mass, which is nice. I do need to bring the um, lift forward. I'm thinking these might be a little bit too big. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. This might go pretty quick. Now it's now it's cleanup mode. I gotta bring the center lift closer to the mass. I do know that. We'll start sort of cleaning this up a little bit. A little more forward. This should really move it. And always a balance between what looks good and what flies good. Though to be quite frank, it's kind of amazing how often what flies well is also what looks good. Maybe a little close. I shouldn't get too much into tweaking. We're still going to, but I mean, that's looking. Uh, edit tanks. Uh, I got the question, what mod asks, allows you to edit the tanks? That is the, I think it's just called tank configurator or something like that. It's got a pretty obvious name. Um, the list of mods are down there in the description if you want to go have a look, but you should find something that's something, I think it's tank configurator or Tank, it's, it's got a very obvious name. That's all I'm saying. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, heck. I want to get the thrust because I want to be able to get this thing up to 20 kilometers of altitude. So going a little lighter and bigger wingspan might not be the worst of plans. Let's move this one outwards. Whoops. Oh, I have the snappy snap on all right I think that looks okay okay uh well what, what what else does this thing need it can also have uh I don't think it really needs much obviously it's gonna need landing gear well I still only have these small landing gear but they should definitely suffice snap back on Put one there where's my center of mass and now it's guess that rotation <laughs> Ta -da! you want these not too far behind the center of mass ideally because when this thing lifts off the runway um, if these are way far back, you're going to have trouble lifting it. You want to almost kind of these almost to be like fulcrum, like a pivot. Um, I don't know. You also don't want them to be too close together. I don't know if that looks too stupid. We'll see. All right, let's, uh, might have to do, I like when it's sitting on the runway Get it. Oh my gosh. 
I like when it's sitting on the runway for it to be slightly, let's get rid of these contracts for now, to be slightly pitched up. This is gonna be crazy pitched up. So we're gonna do some tweaking just with the landing gear here. We're gonna take this one, we're gonna kinda of tuck it up into the fuselage a little bit more. And I think I'm probably best served. Let's move these down just a little bit. See, that's too far because it's actually like left the surface of the wing. But we can probably just move the wings down. And I want them just before they touch. Okay, they're starting to clip into the ground a little bit. That's about the right spot. Let's move these strakes down a little bit so they'll kind of match. Where's the lift now? Lift is a little bit low. I don't think it's a big deal. You can rotate this rudder so it's like actually vertical. There's a thought. All right. Um, you do have some control of the position of the of the lift here. If you grab like a lifting uh, a lifting surface like this and not just slide it forward and back, but also rotate it, that also will affect the position of the lift. So you, it's very twitchy though. That ain't bad. So I've got them pitched up just a little bit. Now maybe just tweak these backwards just a smidge. I'm not a huge fan. I'd like the lift to be a little bit, I, but I don't think I can lift these guys. I'd like the lift to be a little higher, but I'm worried if I... Yeah, this is starting to get on the stupid side if I do that too much. I think that just has to be like that. I think it has to be what it is. I think these need to be a little further back. We'll test fly this, obviously. I'd like to try and get as much work as I can. Alright, um... Let's take off the lift and the mass. I think I think this is ready for a test. Oh, this has probably has monopropellant in it, doesn't it? Yeah, let's remove the monopropellant. There's no need for that. To be quite frank, there's no need for all the food and the water in it. What, can I configure what's in this thing? I don't need you know what? Let's leave the pressure control and the scrubber in. Let's take out the water recycler though, because you know, 20 kilometers, air's pretty thin. They don't need a... No. Let's take the pressure control out. Configure the pod. Pressure control... You know, let's take it all out. All of it's coming out. They can be in their suits. It's a jet, for goodness sakes. It's not built for comfort. Um... This is going to be the Panther 2. Or it's two Panther engines. I think I'm kind of rare. Oh wait, let's just do some control surface configurating. Um, what I want to do is I want to use these ones as kind of like flaps. So we're going to take the roll pitch and the yaw completely off on those. When I deploy them, they go that. I want the deploy direction to be the other way. And then we're going to toggle that deploy to the brakes. In fact, let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. So, brakes. And we're going to toggle the deploy on those. So that when you put the brakes on, these things are going to go down. The idea being flaps. And at the same time, we're going to toggle the air brakes. Oh, the air brakes are already toggled to the brakes. I'm thinking, though, let's toggle. Sorry, a second here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Where are we here? Where's the toggle button? Am I missing some? Oh, I'm hitting them on the, I'm on the freaking. There we go. <laughs> I was on the engine. There, we're gonna toggle those. That's pretty extreme, I think. 
for these purposes. So we're going to keep the deploy angle down here. Is that the deploy angle? That is the deploy. Oh, wait. Authority limit? Ah, there we go. Put that around 30? Thirty-two is fine. Okay, that will be how far they'll go. All right, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, these control surfaces are just going to be for roll, so we'll tweak those. We're going to turn the authority limiter down to I don't know eight. I always find, for me, that they're too pitchy and or too twitchy. And then what we'll do is we'll tweak those. That one's for yaw. Yep. And then this one's for pitch. And eight. Oh, jet, jet engines no worky without air coming into them. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> How many other people have been saying air intakes on the chat there? I knew I was forgetting something. I would have discovered that one pretty quick on testing. Okay, how am I doing for air intakes? I don't know how many I got. Intakes. So I got these radial air intakes. Oh, I got engine, these engine ones. Fan, that's a fan shroud. And then there's reg, I think these guys are my ones that show. I don't have the high, high speed air intakes. Those big ramp air intakes. I think these ones are probably my best choice. Incoming air is two, whatever, two units. These are the same. These are, but these are big. That would require an entire redesign to put these on the back. Oh, it ain't bad though. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's, that's that's. I wish I thought about that a little while ago, and then I would take one of these fuselage parts out. But no, I want. I don't want to spend too much time with this. Maybe I'll tweak it. In the future, um, they're gonna get whacked down there, aren't they? Well, maybe not. That, that might work. We'll just sort of uh, just tweak them a little bit here. Let's move them this way a bit. And then up a bit. And maybe a bit of rotation. There. Uh, uh, I think I can look. I don't think. Well, we'll see. On takeoff, I'm going to have to be really careful that they don't whack on the ground. The better plan might have been to put them on the top. What if I take the air brakes away for now and put them up here? And that's clearly the smarter place to put them. But then, where to put the air brakes? What if I mounted them ahead of the air brakes? You know what? Just do that. That's all you got to do. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Give the plane Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> um, you know what? We'll, we'll do... Okay. Uh, and how's the mass in the lift? Is it still in a reasonable... Sure. All right. Let's... Um... Let's save this. Let's test this. So we're going to test this in a simulation for sure. Okay, and we got our wireframes going. That's cool. Okay, put this on surface. Always for my planes, I like to be in chase mode. Let's put on SAS. Let's uh, throttle this up. Let's put the brakes on. Um, I just realized as well what I should do. Let's get into action groups. I love that you can edit the action groups, but I like to put on RCS mode um, to, where are we here? Where's the toggle engine mode or something? Um, the uh, afterburners, toggle gimbal, pitch roll, switch, switch modes. That must be what it is. Okay, get rid of that. And then I put on RCS and then I get the afterburners on. 
These still seem like they're pretty far forward. Is it just me? Okay, it should have been deploy angle. It was weird. It was different in the VAB. That was my first guess. Silly game. Okay, we'll fix that in the VAB. All right, all right. Uh, so breaks off. Throttles up. Up it up it up it up. Yeah, let's let's just punch it. So punch. Okay. Pitching up. Oh, no problem pitching off, getting off the runway. So that's a good sign. Okay, we'll try nice roll test. And yaw, I think I like where the authority limiters are. And uh, oh, we're picking up speed very easily. That's definitely not going to have any issues uh, with the runway. And uh, what else we got? We got roll. Roll I did. No, what else? Pitch. Pitch is, pitch is good. Pitch is fine. Yep. And if I put on RCS, see, we get. Oh, you don't get the full effect because we're going to get the wireframe stuff. Okay. What we're going to do. I don't want to do the whole let's get to 20 kilometers. I want to find out if this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see if this thing can do 20 kilometers. So we'll just see if we can land it. And of course, Jebediah being the pilot, we are going in full suicide mode here. This is where the air brakes come in. Oh my gosh, that really does slow you down. Maybe it's a little ridiculous. Gear, gear down. Oh, wow. When I put it on, there's too much action on the air brakes and it wants to pitch up. Oh, I have to fight it. So I think I'm going to put that deploy angle even lower on those air brakes. Do a few flares. Oh, we're coming in fast. <laughs> Brakes. Oh, it just, yeah. Okay, just, just hang on. Let me think about this for just a little bit. Let's get a little bit of speed. Sorry, I just want to think about something. Because when I brake, let's do the testing right now. When I brake, take my hands away, it pitches down. So that means, aren't it, doesn't that mean that these are hitting too hard? What if I increase the deploy angle on these? Deploy angle higher, like 60 degrees. Oh, I guess I need some speed too. I don't like that it pitches down so hard when, it might just be these. Okay, let's break again. Yeah. I guess it's just those. Okay. Okay. I think I know what I got to do. All right. Oh, I'm stalling it doing that, silly. Come back. <laughs> I don't like it. It pitches down hard when I break, which I really kind of don't like. Okay. This is the crash simulator. So I'm a little bit reckless here. That's the reason why. Let's get down on there and touch and touch and really all those wheels would be nice. Braking and it's pitching down hard. Oh my God, that was sloppy. The fact that I can be such an idiot. <laughs> that I can be such an idiot and so reckless and not blow up. That tells you that the... The design of this plane is is exceptional. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, we're going to terminate that simulation. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So one thing I think I'm going to do is I think I am going to lose these air brakes. Not happy with how that's working. We'll just move those back there. I'm going to add these guys on. I'm going to add... Because every time I braked and these flaps went down, I, um, it would pitch down. So I want these flaps here to do the opposite of that. So what I'm going to do, these deploy the other way, yeah. So what I'm going to do is on the brake action group, 
we're going to deploy these ones. Toggle deploy. There we go. Oh, and while I was in action groups as well, on the RCS action group, we're going to switch the mode on those engines. Um, I'm also going to, this is deal with the power sliding, is if you, actually it's the front one, if you take the front one and get into the friction control and just turn the friction down on the front one, so that the friction is higher on the back ones, that, that helps with the power sliding. <laughs> I had somebody suggest to me once in a comment to turn the friction off on all of them and then you literally have a curling stone. <laughs> it, goes, it, just, it just slides down the runway. It's pretty entertaining. Okay, um, but otherwise, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of kind of just leaning on this. I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking I'm coming towards a final product here.